Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are once again going to be in Satisfactory today. It is one of the last days of September and I had some extra time. Uh, normally my Sundays are my day off, but I thought, you know, I was in Satisfactory this morning just messing around trying some new things and after about 20 minutes I thought, this is silly. I should just share this with everyone because I was making some decent progress on designing the Ironhide factory, which is what we're going to start off with today. I want to get some of those build parts and some of those tickets uh, into the awesome sink and unlock a lot of those buildables and so we'll be doing some creative stuff i think off the bat which is going to be fun i uh, hope everyone's having a good sunday hope everyone's having a good weekend uh, i've had a great weekend it's been uh, very busy but very fun johnny and i covered the minecraft live announcement yesterday on the spun chunks uh, i don't know if that video is up it should be at least on johnny's twitch channel for a vod it might be up on youtube uh, but you can go to either the spun chunks on youtube or at pixel riffs on twitch and watch our live reactions to the Minecraft live announcement, the uh, the new creaking mob, the new pale garden biome, as well as bundles coming to the game. And uh, we will be covering that, of course, in detail tomorrow on the Spun Chunks, which we will be recording live tomorrow morning uh, just to our Discord, but then it should be published later on tomorrow afternoon. So there's a lot more Minecraft news coming your way this weekend as well. Uh, Jay Christ, Blast Jordan, Scotsman UK. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a, a fantastic day so far. Uh, let's switch over and dive in just so we can start to make some progress. So like I said, I did play for, I want to say, it looks like 44. Yeah, I got about 45 minutes maybe off camera just messed around with shapes and designs and trying to make the roofs match and that's right uh the last few days here of september we've got 25 percent off of gift subs and twitch is throwing in bonus subs for anybody that donates five gift subs to the channel twitch will start with one up to a higher random number of gift subs that will go on top of that so that there could be even more people welcome in into the community and uh, anybody that has a sub can, of course, join the Joel Duggan Discord, which uh, is a fantastic place to hang out, I think, between streams. Um, so I can't remember exactly where we left off with the Ironhide Factory, but this is, if I get up a little bit higher, where I've left off this morning. And I was just working on some shapes, adding in a light, trying to work out how to make this look a little bit more like a transformer. You can see the thumbnail up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. I've also got kind of like an image board for inspiration that I've got kind of hanging uh, off screen here for me, just so I can take a look at some shapes and things that I'm, I'm working on. And uh, the one thing I think I want to change, which is unfortunately going to be a lot of work, is the angle of these pillars in the front. They don't quite match the uh, angle of the roof and it's only off by a little bit but i would i would think i want these to be steeper like i think i want this to come down at a harder angle because i'm not a big fan of this little dark triangle right there i think that's a little bit strange um i don't know exactly what we could do we could put some lights in there maybe um but i think i want to try to take this down just one like one pillar steeper because i think from over here it looks like it's too square of like this is too steep or, or too tall i feel like i want this to have more more of the angle showing so i think that's one of the things i want to do uh, i'm also trying to unlock more stuff uh we we can also go get more of the um sam reanimated sam i think i'm out yeah so we'll go do that first while i think about it I'm really tempted just to run a temporary ugly belt from here to there. It might be worth it, you know. Should have emptied my inventory. Good afternoon. 
says Jay Chris. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Yeah, it's been great. Really chill. Well, I mean, I tend to work weekends anyway, so. But I had I had some time for some R and R. Almost there with this a little bit of housekeeping off the start. I do that. I do find that early in the game, there's a lot of like running around and filling machines with stuff until you can really get everything automated. How are we doing for other parts? Getting low on those. I feel like I've got more. And what do we have for tickets currently? I might just wait for this reanimated Sam to line up. Ten! Alright, cool. So when this is all done, this batch, we'll, uh, We'll see what we can do. In the meantime, I uh, kind of go over what I did here. Just I'm trying to add some details and try to add the the layers that you see in a transformer. I find that the thing with transformers that's so cool is that they generally have these big, broad, kind of like body parts that are a color. You know, like Ironhide has got um, his like his chest, his arms, and his forearms, and his shins are these great big blocks of color. And then in the thighs and the shoulder pads, and then like his rib cage and like his elbows on the inside of his wrists, he's got all this detail. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to sort of communicate that. And in some ways I'm happy with this, in other ways not so much. Um, I do like this, so I think I'm going to continue this and every... Every time we have a gap in the machines, I think this is what I'm going to do. And this is just the, um, the four meter foundations, but they're painted this chrome color. So that's the concrete. But if you paint them the chrome color, they get this really cool kind of like riveted metal look to them. And then this is just a wall stuck on there like that. So we can at least build this because I do like it. Now this was really tricky, but if you have one of these, and I think I'm going to switch these out for... Um, I think I'm gonna switch these out for asphalt roofs when I have a chance. We don't have the access to it just yet. Hey, there's Sandy, how's it going? So this was tricky to get down to that level, but if you put it up here and you start to kind of zigzag things around, you eventually can get like a parallel. I think that's how I did it. Nope, it's a little bit higher. It would have been off of that one? How did I do that?
That looks about right. Nope, too low. Maybe I can just use the trick we used up there. Not quite. Maybe I got it. I've got it, but it's in the wrong, in the wrong kind of level. shouldn't be this hard, which is the only problem. Okay, um, how on earth did I do that? What I should do is blueprint that. Because it's the same angle as that roof. I know I used one of these. this part. Yeah, that's right. And what's the best way to get this? Super fast. Hello, how's it going? You're having a good day so far? I'm not sure if I like this little top part. Guess we could try a beam? That just seems like a lot of trial and error, though. It's not the right angle. I started off up here. Maybe I went higher first. Closer. I wonder if I deleted this. Uh, maybe. But it was a little bit lower than that. Yeah. I 
I need to get up like half a meter or half a foundation. Um, hmm. How did I do that? The one problem with messing around freestyle with this is that if you can't remember how you did it, a real problem reproducing it. Trying to make sense of a kelp farm in Minecraft. Wow. I've not done one of those. I, um, I've always just grabbed kelp when I needed it kind of on its own. Like, just naturally. Like, uh, manual farms. I've never done, like, a, a big one. I think Alistair has got one. I don't know if he's got it posted anywhere. But if you're in, you should be in my Discord, then yeah. Alistair might be able to give you some tips. Oh, man. How am I going to do this? That might do it. No, it's still too high. That's going to be too low. It's like, it's like a weird weird puzzle. Zero! Subscribe to Tier 1 six months in advance. Wow, Zero, that's incredible. 15 months total, that's so kind. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, kelp farm for fuel with an auto crafter. It's a nice kind of fuel. Yeah, totally. It's kind of a fun green solution too if you're kind of a, doing some RP in Minecraft, right? Yeah, okay. This is... I really wish I could figure out how I did that. Well, I guess I could reverse engineer it, couldn't I? That would be smart. So up here... Up there. So what does this connect to? really on the same plane as anything, is it? Maybe this was just back further? I guess it could be back farther. And it's still at the same level. Uh, 
Uh, stick a connector at the end of the one that you do like. Oh, smart. What's funny is that I did it this way the first time, but now I just can't figure out how to do it the second time. So I tried... Right, so what I should do is get rid of this. Put... Um... See, you can't connect them in the way that you want to this way. I tried that because it doesn't line up. Because it's going on the edge, not the middle. Can I use... That snaps. Annoying. Yeah, I can get it backwards, but I can't get it to come forwards. And if I do this, I can't nudge it once it snaps. That's the issue. I thought I had this all sorted out. Maybe that's what I did. Maybe I bumped it forward. So if I did this and I did one, two, three, four. Four. How does this always end up at the same place? I just find it so strange. Maybe I just need to make a decision to make a new one and have it be the angle that I actually want. Yeah, so they're always 90 degrees, so it's always going to be in the same spot. Thanks for the lurk, super fast, I appreciate it. Druid Jen, hello, hello. Let's see where we are with tickets. Maybe we can unlock something. Uh, we're out of wire. Why are you, are you just slow? pipes again. We're getting real low. I might have to stop stop doing this because I'm starting to get a little low on pipes. We are making more. It's just really, really slowly. Alright. Well, let's just see if I can come up with a new design for this. At an angle that we can reproduce easily. So 
that's not it. How on earth? So none of those are going to work. I wonder if I did a big pillar. That seems more likely. the same. I really am sad that I cannot reproduce that. See if all the time I've spent watching Total Eclipse will pay off. Can't nudge that. it there either. Holy smokes, mind trip media. Wow. Uh mind trip media is gifting five tier one subs to the community. That's incredible. And Twitch added one gift sub and two bonus subs to Mindtrip Media's gift. So that five turned into eight. RoboRob9, Aniket Shadow Slayer, Stalcord, Stenos, Kafaru NZ, Kami Marie, Kali NA, I guess, and Lizard Zwee. Thanks very much, uh, Mind Trip Media. That's amazing. Folks, if you got a gift sub, make sure you thank Mind Trip, Me uh, Mind Trip Media and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. You can connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and join us in the Discord. All right, I am frustrated with this. I really thought I was going to log in and just get a lot done today, but we are just going to move on. Uh, we can still continue with the rest of this design, which does look good. So I'll just do... The other bits. And I'll come back to this. And I'm on the fence about this bottom part. I think I just like keeping it simple. So we'll just switch these over. This was pretty straightforward and I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to remove this and bump this up and 
And then we can put something else underneath this because this is like the subfloor subfloor. So that could even have another one of these. I think that looks pretty good. Keep it the same. I guess we'll keep it the same for now. I really like once you've decided on some sort of pattern or design because you tend to move quite quickly after you do that in this game, which is nice. Uh, this is not a thing there. Get some depth. I may want to do more with lights along the side of this as well. Sweet Sandy with 100 bits and that kicked off a hype train or did the bits hit kick off a hype train? I might have missed that. Uh, wait a minute. Sweet Sandy did bits. Oh no, that's, those are the Twitch subs. I thought it looks like the Twitch subs came off of the bits but they came off of my trip media stuff actually thanks very much sweet sandy that's very kind of you blast jordan gifting a tier one sub to the community that went to jace ns23 thanks very much blast that's a level three hype train or sorry level two complete uh currently on level three if you want to join in the hype train you'll get a new emote from twitch and that is a 100-bit or Twitch Prime sub or Twitch sub. Uh, and the Twitch sub is 25% off. For the next day and a half. So this is where we have to incorporate this rock. Somehow. That's not where I wanted that to go. I guess this will work okay. I didn't realize that they crossed over so weirdly. That's unfortunate. Maybe we just won't look at that part. I'm actually tempted. I wonder what this would look like if we brought this around. And instead of that, we had another one of these. Doesn't look very good with the open end, does it? Yeah. 
Oh, never mind. It was worth a shot. Then, I guess we just mirror what we've got going on. Makes sense. And this might have to be something a little bit different. I haven't really thought about the back end of this build, so I don't know what's happening back here yet. I think that looks pretty Transformer-like. That is a level two hype train done. Thanks ever so much, folks. I really appreciate it. What emote did you get from Twitch? Throw it in the chat. So this might not even be a thing here. Don't worry about what's happening with that after. And this is just another one of these. up here, but I don't remember exactly what level they're on. We've got extra walls. Probably fill that in there. Fill that in there. Did I put this in the wrong spot? No, it said that this has got extra windows. Does this not have? Oh, there's supposed to be a window there. Whoops. Like, why is there only three? Or only two? I discovered that you can't put um, walls inside of windows anymore, as I was messing around earlier, which is unfortunate. It now limits the shapes that you can make.
that looks okay. I feel like that is probably going to go the length inside. Makes sense. And do I have the upside down foundations yet? I don't. Out of pipes again. I think we have to let those build up. We might be done for a little bit. Well, doing too bad. I just don't want to end up with no pipes when I go to build something that needs them, right? Let's see where we are. 15. Good number. What do we want? Ten for the signs is a lot. Uh, indoor lighting would be cool. That's five for the indoor lighting and the lighting control panel. Customizer. Ooh, carbon steel would be cool. Eight tickets for carbon steel. I have the asphalt. Um, tar roof, I think, is one that I want to get. And tempted on the glass roofs too. Want to get inverted ramps. Walls, we've got the windows. Gates would be nice. I've got the angles that I need. Anything else in architecture? We're actually doing pretty good. I, we've unlocked more than I thought. Unlocked more than I thought. What are we doing here? We've got four. So I've got another nine. No, eleven. That I could spend. I could get that carbon steel. You don't persuade the wildlife to help you with tickets? I do. Um, just I haven't been out and doing it. Because it just it means that I can only do that. I find that by sinking the SAM fluctuators. We get a lot of tickets and it can happen in the background. Let's get those. Got eight left. I guess we can go for that finish. Give us more options. Sure. We'll unlock everything eventually. I'm curious about this carbon steel, though. So that's the chrome finish, and this is the carbon steel. They're very similar. I hear the carbon steel looks really good on pipes. Just for reference, 
that's a black pipe. And that's a carbon steel pipe. I mean, they're not... There's just a little bit of a different shine. The carbon steel is pretty similar. What this carbon steel foundation looks like. So just again, a quick way to make concrete shiny without having to use plastic because the coated concrete foundations, we don't have those yet because they cost plastic and I just, I can't afford it right now. I've been watching Total Eclipse build his oil factory out of the carbon steel though. It's pretty cool. Um, what else did we get that was new? We got walls, new automated gate, and gate wall. So I gotta figure out where we're gonna put an entrance. One of the entrances I think should be at the back. And we might put it sort of like here. Would be a good idea maybe. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe a staircase or something in the back. Because there's no way in. Like I've not designed this with a way in. Uh, the other thing we could do is out front. We could have something maybe under the output or something. But that that only gets you into the bottom. It doesn't really get you up into the main area. So like I really don't have a way in. Complete oversight. I was just designing it as a um as a shape you know I like this part very much Let's just find a new angle for this thing and see if we can't figure it out. There's a roof on there too. Oh, I've got the tar roofs now too. So I could change this to a tar roof. Oh, this just has to be replaced. Maybe it has to be this kind of roof first. Invalid customizer target. Um, how do you make a tar roof then? Oh, there we go. Don't know if I like that better. Gives us a little bit more overlap, but does it really work? It does not, we can't do, that's a eight meter. And I don't think we can do that. No, there's no eight meter. Cause that's a wall, not a roof.
<laughs> I mean, there's nothing to say we can't have these. I guess in this position. And then other things above them. It does seem to match better with the concrete. Okay. I do like this little black line. And so for anybody that's wondering, all I did was um, get in there with the uh, the hologram, and then lock it, and then you hold control and you can move it out by half meter. And the wall is a half meter thick, so it'll line up. And if you moved it out again, then you'd end up with a gap. But if you want to just have something that look like a ridge, just to add a little bit of depth, I find that it really helps. So that's what I did up here, right? So you just go up there, H, I'm holding control and then down towards me. gives you the ability to make that pattern. And again, I'm trying to emulate Ironhide as best I can. I'm getting a lot of those hexagon and octagonal shapes from like his thighs or his shins in the lower left hand image. And then a little bit from his the car mode as well. Oh yeah, I know you meant DNA points too. Uh, zero, yeah. Staff Accord, hello, hello. Hey, you got a sub. That's awesome. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate it. Always, always appreciate it. I think I like that shape. Feels a little heavy on the black, maybe. Not sure about the chrome. What else did we get? The doors. Automated gate. Maybe we should round the front here and see what I can do. I wonder if there's something I can do to change the angle of this here. One thing I could try, I could try this on the other side. One thing about doing a symmetrical build, I do this in Minecraft a lot too. You can kind of A B test and see which side you like better. So if I was to. Oh, yeah, I got the art up. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oi, tut tut. Nice. I appreciate that, Sandy. Sorry about that, folks. I really wasn't doing much. I was just looking around at this area here. I didn't really build anything. Um. I should, I should try to put those art things on a timer. You can do that where it, like you press the button and it goes away eventually. So I think I want to start from there and go up. 
Do I want to go to the same place? So this should be roughly the same. So I like that inside, right? So then that would go down to here or lower. We'll try both and see what we like. Oh. I don't remember. It was a lot of trial and error in terms of the angle, if I remember correctly. So we had to grab a beam. I should really put this on a hot bar. That goes the wrong way for me. So let's go that into options, user interface. No, keybinds. Controls. Somewhere. Stream past the hour mark. Thanks very much, Sandy. Uh, I'll take a break. I just need to find where the scroll settings are. Must be under keybinds. Cycle next to the next hot bar. Is it alt? Yeah. Okay. I thought there was a way to reverse it just in the menu. I thought there was like a tooltip for clockwise. Oh, here we go. Hop bar swapping scroll direction counterclockwise. That's better. Okay. Let's make like a little builder thing here. We'll go with um, big, small, beam, connector, um, barrier, and then we'll do wall wall I guess triangle wall and triangle wall and probably roof part
No, I, I think I was going to the center. I don't remember. lower now I'm just going into the menu by force of habit Oh, we get all the beams that way. That's cool. I guess I have to decide where I want these pillars to be, too. Before I start running in these these lines what if roof parts that is too steep for in here okay so we have to go with four meters That'll give us more options anyway. And actually that angle, just to wrote right. Hmm. Well, well, the sun's going down. I should probably take the break Sandy suggested. So we will uh, pop up here to the power augmenter. First, I should just double check that sand more though. Try to make the most of our time away. Maybe AFK and doing stuff, you might as well build things in the background. step away for five or seven minutes just to kind of reheat my coffee and grab a stretch uh, you should too and uh, maybe grab a friend let them know that we're streaming we are trying to grow the channel uh, it's been a really good september we've welcomed a lot of new people in uh, so once again if you are enjoying the stream just tell a friend i'll be back in just a few minutes
All right. Not quite daybreak, but we're getting there. I wonder if I can use these. Oh no, I wanted to change the angle. Right. That's right. I'm trying to get off on Easy Street. So if we go straight to the middle and straight to the middle, that's not what we want. We generally have to go past that somehow. So that's the right angle, it looks like. Maybe a tick lower. That's too low. And that's gonna be too high. I pulled this off before. I wonder if I did this. No, it doesn't work either. That looks like it lines up with the one behind it almost. So if I did that again. What if we go to the one behind it? doesn't work either. That's the right angle, I think. We just have to get them farther along. I feel like what I was doing was... Um, oh. 
thought we were going to have a crash there for a second. I feel like there was definitely a situation where I was pulling this farther up. Doesn't can't have it. It doesn't mimic the angle, which is annoying. I feel like I need to just go find a tutorial on how to do this and do this another time. I don't really feel like I'm getting much headway with this in the way that I want. Alright, let's focus on the inside here then. And whether I want these to be that depth or not. If this was farther out, okay, so I think I had it right the first time. Unfortunately, these don't have um, edges on them. So some of the windows you can put inside walls, but not all of them. It's really annoying. So my idea here is to have these glow with other signs. So if I can, what's the tickets for unlocking the next? We definitely don't have enough. And tickets for the billboard signs. That's a lot. Three for indoor lighting. I only have two. Is there anything I can buy for two? Doors. Get doors. I think I'd rather save up for something more useful right now, though. Like we need to make another trip. I don't know whether it's faster to drive or faster to run. I wonder if this is worth just putting a really ugly belt across here.
I could also just add a truck stop, maybe. <laughs> At least we can carry, like, the full double chest in our inventory now. The full double container. Not hard to tell I'm a Minecraft player. Double chest. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like that to be lower, I think. I think maybe that one would be would be good. I'm pretty happy with the chrome on the side. It looks all right. That's not my favorite. That's not the best. And this is where I'm wondering whether this this pillar would be better off, like, farther in, you know? But I think inside the window looks good here. It's enough space here. What I wanted to have happen there was an upside-down foundation. These are not going to be able to be asphalt, which is annoying. correctly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not with the new... With the beams going down the middle, this actually looks pretty cool. I like that as a cool texture to the ceiling. Maybe these are where I need to have the angle. That could be more interesting there. Yeah, I like that. I did really like the um, asphalt roof, though. So maybe we can keep that, but we have to just change the height of it out here.
Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? I did kind of like the black, and I can't... I don't think I can make those... Oh, I can. That might solve that problem. Yeah. Cool. It might not go that far. We might have to change this to something else. And these don't go up high enough anymore. Like those anymore? A little busy. So then it's just a matter of reconciling that corner. These machines are still not working 100% because we have, have to push everything outside the factory. It might be easier for me to just do these as they are now and then move them later. Oh, is that supposed to be... Yeah, that was higher. I think that's pretty cool looking. Sometimes keeping it simple is best. It'll be dark once we get a roof on it. Unless we can get those glass roof pieces, that could be fun there. Where, how much were those? Five tickets? Need one more. Out of pipes again? Probably, yeah. I think I mean need to just up the pipe production. I'm probably bringing in enough steel. Is it just the U, just the one doing the pipes. Yeah, let's, um... Output your... your max for now. I don't think that I have access to Summer Sloop as the double X. No. One Summer Sloop, but a hundred of those. That's The hundred of those is easy. It's the Summer Sloop that we've got to find. So I don't think I have any extra. Unless... Oh, I should change the belt. Uh, what's this doing now? 50 per minute? That's fine. That's still a, still the right speed.
It looks so funny when you see it in a cross section. I feel like I've fallen into some old bad habits. Just doing boxes. But it's hard this early in the game. So there's going to be a section here that covers things up, and I think that's a decent, decent chunk. I'll try the other side as well. I'm wondering if this is going to be good lower. So, whoops, there's a giant drop off there. What if this was over here, but down? Trying to decide which height looks better. I think the left. Need more fuel. Well, Uncle, hello. How do you change the colors of the builds and dismantle holograms? Is it a color blind mode in uh no, you can customize it to whatever you want. Uh I will show you in just a second. You go into the other menu. Options, user interface, and then you've got hologram color, dismantle color, hard clearance co color, and soft clearance cover. And you can make them whatever you want. And I find that once you're in there, not only does the color matter, but so does the transparency. So if I edit this, you'll see um, I went with like a really light color but then low saturation because it's easier to see. So there's the white, right? And then there's the red. And then there's the green. And then this mantle is just blue. I just found it easier on the eyes. It's a little harder to see when your factory is blue, but when your factory is red, you can see it pretty well. It's worth taking a look through all of the menus. The game does not do a great job communicating to you what is possible with what you're doing. And um, as a result, um, it's a lot of community kind of feedback and stuff to get, to get the info. that to be black or red I think I want that to be red customizer and I don't know what I can do up here make this flat red. I guess I could use the regular concrete and then color it specifically. And 
and I don't remember which one of these has to be the positive. I think it's this one has to be one. That doesn't really match. A little bit better, but we've got a lot of metal bits in it. I wish there was a flat. Do we have a flat? We do have flat roofs. What am I talking about? We've got. They're not really flat roofs. They are. This thing, but they're not flat. I've never liked. They slope just ever so slightly the other way. This is annoying. But I guess at a distance it'll be okay. Jawsome! I'm new. What is the game about? Uh, this is Satisfactory. So it's a factory building game. Uh, you get to do things like um, automate materials. Uh, there's a lot of math problems and stuff that come up as you try to figure out the best way to move materials from one place to another. Um, we're fairly, we're a good 50 hours in now, I think. So um, it might feel like it's fairly a little overwhelming, but it's uh, the solid game, a uh, really good game design. Why is that not? Okay. Grab that. Do I like the three level roof? I think I do. I guess this could be one of those roof pieces too, couldn't it? Do we like that better? Yeah, I think we do. And it's also a bit of a building game. But welcome in. How did you find the stream? Yeah, it's not as visible as I wanted it to be, but I'm kind of stuck in that way, I guess. There's our tickets for the glass. That'll help keep it Thank a little bit lighter inside. Thank you for your purchase in the Fix It Awesome shop, the best store on the planet. It's the only store on the planet.
New roofs. Uh, they under here? Last roof. How does that look? It's certainly going to brighten up the place. Oh yeah, I like that better. Nice. They are very tricky to place though. Like it won't connect to this, it has to go next to it. Strange. Uh, Zonya recommended. Oh, that's cool. Well, welcome in. That's really nice. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, the game mechanics look very complex, but it looks like a great game. Yeah, it is really great. And it does start you off very, very easy. Uh, like iron, you know, mine iron out of ground, smelt it in smelters and turn it into iron ingots. So the basic production, which you can see some up here, you take the ore out of the ground. It never runs out. Each one of these nodes uh, just produces a certain amount, depending on what kind of miner you have on it. The belts carry a certain amount. And then you take the ingots that are being made and then you can turn it into other stuff. So if you've played Factorio or Shapes or Tectonica is another one. There's another one that's out too that's a little bit more cartoony. It looks like Minecraft, but it's very much like this. Uh, and then that voice that you heard earlier, the, the Ada, the little digital assistant, um, they walk you through kind of like the basics of like, make plates and then make rods and then combine the plates and rods and make reinforced plates and it kind of gets on and on from there right make screws and make the screws into different things and so it you know like it builds up but it takes you up pretty slowly uh the tutorial is 100 percent worth doing uh you can also uh if you go in i think it's bang sf creators in chat in uh exclamation point sf creators you'll get a link to a google doc that'll have links to a couple of people that i really like that play satisfactory uh total eclipse uh total x clips uh bits uh is its bits on youtube and twitch i'm kibitz fluxo and there's a couple others as well uh there's a link thank you sweet sandy appreciate it So I feel like that looks a lot nicer. You just have to add more of these bits here. So this gets turned into that. That looks right. Now, do we leave that open? Probably not. That's probably where we want to have that wall back. And that is no longer snapping. How do I want to do that? I feel like that looks okay. There's an extra piece in there that I don't need, but... I 
think that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I want to have these pillars exposed. I'm tempted to just cover those up. Does look a little boring. But maybe that's where you can grab maybe one of these smaller ones. A metal, metal pillar? It is. I want the concrete one. I think that's just enough. This is so much nicer with the skylight. 100% better with lights or with the windows. Not a fan of that though. I feel like we might need to bring those in a little bit. So that's why I wasn't sure about the placement of these. I think we might have to come in here and do like a an overlap. I think that'll look better. Not as much depth though, so maybe we have to go a little bit more. Oh, wait a minute, I was gonna double up on those anyway. might be too much uh, the game does have a day-night cycle yeah uh, I tend to pair my breaks with the day-night cycle uh, but it's a uh, 50 daylight minutes and then five night minutes although because of the way that sunset works it's a little longer in terms of how dark it is just because of just low light levels and whatever there's also lights in the game that we haven't really turned on yet we haven't really got that far I'm still trying to unlock different decoration bits in the awesome shop. Uh, I'm Kibitz is on your recommended channels as well. I recommend Kibitz. He's a good time. Uh, fellow Canadian. Uh, he's out, out west. I really like him. He's fun. It's one of those people that really loves this game and couldn't hide it if he tried, you know? Yeah, I think that's too far out. So we may have to go with just the one. And maybe I can do... Just... Just cover it. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. That's fine.
And thanks very much. I'm glad you like the builds. We are modeling everything off of Transformers. This is a fun way to get some interesting shape language and stuff in there. What do these look like as gunmetal on the sides? They're basically black at that point. I find the carbon steel is basically just shiny black. And then we've got this weird fighting that's happening there, which is not great. So I need to figure out how to address that. Do these have a black side at all? I don't think they do. Or maybe they do. They do have a black side, okay. So, how do we figure out which side is which? That way, and then if I can connect it here. That might work. Stops the fighting, but there is a little bit of a gap. Uh, we might be able to cover that up with something. That might work. Um, lots of people play the game lots of different ways, uh, Jossum. It's, it's one of those games that there's no real wrong way to play. It's just a matter of like, what kind of time do you have? And because I make content around it, you know, I, I obviously can dedicate the time it needs. that looks special. I might have them come out of each side here and then combine in the middle. I think that might look cooler. So we'll think about that. Don't know if I want the windows to go all the way up. here for now. Revisit that later. So really it's just a matter of fixing these angles and seeing what we can come up with. And I guess I don't think I'm going to make this glass. I think this might be an actual Roof piece. Yeah, the red is nice and bold. I like that. go up and fix those other oh the beam is fighting now 
All right, so much for that idea. I should be able to just use this one as a connection. I think that's the right texture. Can't tell. Yes. Cool. There's not a lot of red happening, but that's because I want the tickets for um, for the big sign. Uh, I see some of the others you mentioned in the Joel Duggan viewers also watch section. Oh, cool. That's great. Yeah, this is going a lot faster now. That's good. So much for coupons though. What are we doing for these guys? Oh, not bad. Sure, I like that chrome bit. What, what do you guys think about that? Is it you'd like it? I feel like we do need the ridge, but I just don't know about if it's going to be chrome or not. I feel like I just want to get this build done. I don't want to spend forever. On this, I really want to start moving on and getting the other bits of the factory up and running. Do we like the carbon steel or the black? I think I like the black. Out of plates. That's a surprise. Good thing we have spares. should be setting up custom swatches before I start before I start painting everything but uh, I don't know what we're doing here yet um, I feel like this is probably gonna be in the corner another one of these little ridges over top and I think I need to move these back as well
So that does give us this weird ridge on the front. It's not awful. It's just not exactly what you intended or what I intended. Oh, that was the one I wanted. Crap. So we could just fill that in. I feel like I've got it overlapping though. see what that looks like upstairs. These should be a different material. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That looks good. probably see that from the outside. Now, some of this stuff doesn't line up weirdly and I don't know why. I guess I've got that connected to the wrong thing, don't I? Yeah. This doesn't look too bad on the inside, but it looks a little bit funny from over here. Also, it's nighttime again, which means I should probably take that break that I like to take. Uh, folks, if you're new to the channel, I like to step away about once an hour. It gives me a chance to refresh the coffee, grab a snack. Uh, it looks like we're going pretty well on the, um, not the oscillators, but the, um, fluctuators. So I'll leave you here for just a few minutes while I uh, grab that break. You get to watch the skybox go by and uh, the moon manta and I'll be back in just a few minutes.
Hello, we're back. And I think I may have an idea about how to solve this pillar problem. Quick tutorial online, I think, might have saved my bacon here. Oh, that's a photo. Um, once again, folks, if you are new to the chat, uh, I do take those breaks once an hour. Uh, but we are also trying to grow the channel. So if you've got friends out there that you think might like uh, what I do here on Twitch, feel free to share the stream with them. You can go to Twitter, at Joel Duggan, or Instagram. There's a story on Instagram if you want to share that around. Uh, and this month, and there's only a couple days left in this month, Twitch subs are 25% off. And right now, until the end of the month, uh, Twitch is throwing in bonus gift subs. So if uh, anybody in the chat uses uh, five gift subs to the community, then Twitch will add an additional one to several uh, on top of that. Uh, we had three come in, I think, uh, when MindTrip Media tried one earlier, and um, it really does help out a lot. And anybody that has a sub uh, can join the Discord. Uh, there's also the Patreon, which I should mention too. And uh, especially if people are, are on a budget for their entertainment, uh, Patreon's only $2 a month US, and it gets you access to the Discord the same way that a Twitch sub would. You don't get to use the emotes here on, on Twitch, but if emotes aren't really something you care about, then uh, Patreon is a great way to support me as well. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Big Head Face, hello. Welcome back. Always good to see you. So, I think the way to do this, grab a beam outside to outside on angle. Why are you not connecting? Being silly. I want the center of the beam to go to the center of the outside. It doesn't seem to want to do it. And I don't know why it doesn't want to do it anymore. I can I can do it here. But I can't seem to do it here. Oh, did I have it? I might have had it. That's really annoying. I wonder if those are off the grid. That could be a two. Yes. Okay, those are off the grid by a bit. Don't remember how I got those at that level. So that could be the problem. I know that this is on the grid. That's the wrong height. Wrong height. I got a funny feeling there's going to be a lot of redoing stuff here. That is also the wrong height.
so you've got to do this manually, I guess. In terms of the height. Is that going to mess up down here, too? That's marginal. I don't know how I got them at that height. I have no idea. I probably use smaller foundations, would be my guess. If I could redo this, maybe I could use the smaller foundations and have more luck. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I did. I used the smaller foundations. So there's a good building ship. If you're having trouble, use the smaller foundations and you'll probably have some better luck. Now, hopefully this will now connect the way that it did in the tutorial. Uh, so frustrating. Like I just, you're supposed to connect to the edge here. Why won't you go to the edge? You'll do it here. And I can choose you there you go through for some reason like I don't know why why do you go through it's so annoying It's like you see the tutorial and you're just like, well, but you you did it. Like, <laughs> why did it not work? that so what's cool about that is that that lines up right there right then we can do the same thing here but of course it doesn't line up because this goes past the corner So in order to get the ridge up there, I should be able to connect one there, connect one there, remove that one, put that back, and get exactly what I wanted in the first place, which is, that looks fantastic, like that's what I want. But because I couldn't get this to snap to the edge there, I can't do that. Unless this lines up, which it doesn't. So frustrating. The example I saw was horizontal, but it should still work in theory here. Maybe if I do freeform? Yeah, okay.
maybe that's what the problem was. I don't know what the sign like I don't know what the math is behind how they do this. So at some point they're going to have to overlap and that's fine. And we'll just do it maybe at the high point. Oh no wait, that's the wrong one. It's here. Yeah, let's do it. Up there. Oh, come on. So it's just still off a little bit, and it really fights a lot. Oh, no, it's still... Why is there three there? Hmm. Well, we got the first part done. At least I know how to do it now. Uh, the other question is that how does this look with this? I might um, I might want to change the way that this works. That well, that's that's the same angle. That's perfect. I like that. Ah, but that is not. Right. So then we have to come up with something to cover that up. And I feel like the wall may not work. Too big. Much too big. Much too big. Um, hmm. That's the right angle? No. Yeah, it is. Wait a minute. If I can get that lower, then we can do some of those. Could even do like little vents, maybe? Get this up like this. Now, 
does that look like inside? Not good. I wonder if we could use beams. Tricky when it doesn't snap. You're like, well, how do I know where it's going to connect? Works on the outside. Does it work on the inside? Not when I do it like that, but it's a decent experiment. Lots of building blocks and not the one you need. Yeah, it's not the truth. I'm also really kind of going outside the box here. I understand. I understand. Um. Hmm. It might be worth doing a flat panel here. If that is the same width as a foundation or a half foundation. Yeah. No, the angle looks better, doesn't it? That's annoying. I wonder if I could just use angled foundations. It might not look very good inside. I do have double ramps. So I could do... I thought I had double ramps. Yeah. Those are just a full foundation wide. Problem with these, of course, is that they're thick. So inside, that looks like hot garbage. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like the beams are probably the best bet.
We just have to find a good way to connect them. That makes sense. Three tickets in total. Don't think I want the metal roof. I think I might want to save up for conveyor holes. Oh, upping the production on the pipes is a good idea. Beams are the ones that are easiest to place too? Yeah, I agree. I'm really frustrated that I can't get this, uh, this angle thing to work. I, it looks so good up here, but I think maybe what I need to do is do it from the bottom up uh, because that's what you're going to see more of. Sandy, thank you for being awesome as always. All right, beam. Reform from outside to outside. You add a pillar there and a pillar there. Then you do the beam from the edge to the edge. And you add another beam there. And then you have to go down here. No, from here. That'll be nice and clean. And then we go up from here. And then up here, I do the same thing. Back this off. Put one underneath here. No. Remove this. I do miss the hover pack sometimes. <laughs> Definitely feeling the pinch of like early game bonuses and stuff. That goes there. That goes there. This goes here. So we still have the fighting, but it's happening um, I don't know if that's better. I, I, I kind of... It looks so good up here, but I think that's because there's not a vertical one coming up from the bottom. Right? I think that's the issue. I almost want this to be a little bit lower. You know? Which we could do. I don't know how I'd lower it just a little bit, but... 
I don't think any way that I've done it, it's ever looked good at the bottom here. The top looks great. Because it's it's more of, a, of an obtuse angle. This is a lot tighter. It is lining up. Like, it's just... It's because these guys have got, like, a chamfer on them that it doesn't... If they were square, it would probably be fine. Packaged by Ophul is better? Yeah. Yeah, I could do I could do that. Do I have I think I need a refinery to do that though. Bear walls. Do I have five? No, I've got four. I think I need to take a little bit of a break from working on Ironhide here and start to think about where we're going to send all this stuff. I do like the idea of sending it together over here and then having it go into the main factory over here. I'm just trying to figure out where the main factory's entrance is going to be and unfortunately I can't blow up those rocks. Um, however, we could build a road above them get up a little bit higher. I have to be at this height anyway because of this other rock over here. So I feel like this could be a decent entrance. Especially if I want to keep that tree for fun. Just have to be careful as I'm ripping stuff down. Do, 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 do. Uh, I decided that I wanted to leave some space over here to drive by. Yeah. I feel like. Maybe we can take down these trees here. Nice to have some space for hidden belts. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually have the belts be pretty prominent. I'm going to switch this to single mode so it doesn't take down this tree. I don't mind that rock being there. Right, so if this was an entrance... This could be wider if we needed it to be. I feel like I've given this... What? A good three foundations? Okay. Then over here, same idea. Yeah. We could go one wider here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So this could be the main entrance. I 
think that's cool. Yeah. Maybe have a rough door. That level. We can make it fancy. Um, feels like some a lot of space that we could be using for stuff, though. So this could end up being something important. I don't know. I wonder, I wonder what we could use this space for. I feel like the factory floor is going to be down here. I want some walking space. So that's a lot of room. A lot of room. I guess we could use this for some storage. not keep that tree. We'll see. This does give us some depth for design though, which is nice. So we will probably send the iron maybe down this way. Seems like a good idea. Probably like right along here. I feel like it would be too sharp of a turn to take it that way. Wouldn't be as cool. Yeah. So I think... What I'd like to do is have the iron come out of one, like this spot here and that spot there. But rather than coming out there, I think we'll push it out here. And then somehow combine it out here at a pillar. Probably at this level. So if I did that, I'd want to have probably a half foundation here. And that is a middle, so we could use those conveyor holes, which would be nice. Unless I want to do something custom. on one of these poles.
should line up. Don't have enough stuff. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be enough room for a path or a truck for everything, but this is going to be up high on purpose for sure. Yeah, so I did that right. But then I like I'm trying to think about like what could I do here? Make this look like a cool custom output. And I just keep on thinking about like chrome walls or something. Want it to look a little bit more natural than just like an output pool. Although we could just use one of those. Want something to frame it somehow. That's not bad. That's pretty good. At least for now. So then I'd probably want that to come and connect to here, I want to say maybe at a 45 degree angle. So I'd want two of these. I'm going to move this for a second. And we'll make something cool out of this. I'm just trying to get the angle right. Now I could try the new belt mode. Ah, uh, okay, that's not gonna work. Then we'd have to come up with something that's going to be here and maybe at a 45, and then maybe two steps back. That's a little crooked. Maybe I can just make them straight. Yeah, uh, I just need to back that up a little bit. pretty good and so we'll have the two belts at that height 
but we'll have this stuff gone and then this will continue on down this way and I'll make a blueprint for like um, belt belt poles and we can do that so then this won't be here it'll just kind of have that cool kind of sci-fi look to it I might even back that up a little bit so then it's just a matter of coming up with a cool design for uh, the top of a pole and this is currently four meters plus that so we wanted to mess around with the blueprint designer we could go with something I'm assuming it's probably gonna be these nice um, concrete pillar and that's the same height as the foundation yeah and so then we could add foundation on top We could, I guess I should change that to something a little bit easier to see. Get our poles in here. And then I could also put this up here. Grab some of these upside down angles. Although, do I want that to have? Probably want that to have an edge. Uh, hmm. How do I want to do this and have it not be a giant platform? guess we could use the half foundation hmm so my plan was to try to do something with uh, upside down ramps but they are of course very big and I forgot about that great for trains not so much for little things be cool to have like a barrier on that maybe I could also hide those it's like submerge the or sink the these guys into something I just don't know if there's anything that has like a natural angle to it that I could use nothing that's small walls are all four meters Foundations are all four meters except for the small ones. Hmm. A 45% beam. Yeah, I could do that. I could also maybe put like a sign. I don't know if my signs are big enough. But I put a sign. Portrait sign is pretty big. So 
if I grab a beam. Might be able to connect this sign. Yeah. I want that go a little bit higher. No. Wish there was a way to get halfway between those. Thought there would be. Oh, there we go. I just need this instead. I did this with the trains in my other playthrough. I There's going to be belts on top of that, and they're going to be big belts too. So that's the other thing I need to think about. Is that it's going to look good with the belts. going to be four. You can't see the sign. Unless I put two signs. Can't nudge it once it snaps to the thing. Uh, display sign. You're only going to see so much of it, right? Because this is all going to be under belts. Out of parts. Do I have any parts in here? No. There are tricks to things, just need to learn them all. Yeah, it's it's there's definitely a lot of community based learning in the game. those up there. Oh, I wanted that. So what I need to do is just come up with a way to connect those. The red isn't bad. Um, I'd like to do more of an angle or something. I just don't know. Sun's going down. Time for another break. Uh, yes. Probably very soon. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I can do anything at this scale. Have it look good. I 
I might have to make this bigger. That is going to look really blocky and strange. And I'd want that to go higher as well. And that would be doable that way. So if I can get that to touch the belts, then that would work. And then I might be able to do something with like one of these guys on the front. Of course, I can't put anything on that like I want. Hmm. Uh, I could maybe try. That might be a good solution. I will have to come back to that. Give me a moment. Uh, as per usual, I'm going to take that break once an hour. I want to try to stick to those. I really appreciate the um, heads up, Sandy. Very cool. Uh, give me, I don't know, five or seven minutes, and we'll uh, try to see what else we can get done.
All right, let's see if we can get this sorted out. I can always change it later as long as I can get something feasible here at the start. I don't think I like the red beam. I think I want to do something that's... Well, you know, it's not terrible. I feel like those need to be closer. And if I could make those maybe a little farther apart, that might work. Don't remember how I got that other beam up there. Oh, I used a pillar, didn't I? could work. Get rid of that. Then connect these in the middle. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then I just need to get this higher, I guess. And to do that... That's the hard part. through no it doesn't okay and that I can't build out the bottom okay so that's a problem because that's gonna float I could just do that that shows up. Okay, that's not good. Because I'm thinking we could also run power along these too, right? Because I could use uh, power nodes. I think, yeah. That could be useful. Maybe we don't need those at all. Yeah, it's a cleaner look. Maybe what we'll do is get in on the light action. Do I want a thinner one, maybe? these around if I can even do it too big display sign hmm Do we want that to hang over like that? The idea is that I wanted to turn this into a light and have it shine up. I 
I don't think I want the beam any longer. Mr. Dangly Legs, hello, welcome in. I can do the thing that I wanted to do. Which is unfortunate. Not crazy about that pillar either. to put in there. I guess I could try a sign. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Deathlight, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So I need this to go up like a half meter, not a full meter. I wish we could do vertical nudging. That would be very, very handy. How can I get this up a half meter? Still the same connection point though. Went the wrong direction, I think. I 
I want this to go up a half meter, so I need to go higher. And that connects, but then it doesn't show through. Okay. Yeah, that took forever. And that looks okay there with the the plug. So then I'll change this. the connectors there and that's fine um, I guess it's just a matter of do I want to keep these lights sticking out like that That could look okay if I maybe turned it the other way around. I think that looks all right. Are you being fussy? And of course, I can't nudge it left or right. That's annoying. I don't know about the red beam. We could always change the color of that. And I don't know about the, the signs. I might want to go with a two meter sign instead. Need a little bit more space. I really wish we had more options. I guess we'll have to go with... Oh, come on. Um, go with a half meter. Now, 
what happened there. Maybe that has to be a little bit higher. Same as the other side. No, yeah, that's too close. Yeah, let's go with that. Too many hotkeys. Now it's not snapping to the right thing. That's good. I guess that looks okay. We can always tweak these later. Um, so that is going to be like the conveyor top. Uh, and what I don't need are these bits. Oh. And I don't need the belts. Although, what we should do... is have yeah there should be maybe a minimum length for the belts um i can probably sort that out later the question is if i delete this oh yeah that's still visible and clickable so that's good Right? Yeah, so that's... Those will get hidden once we attach the belts to it. And then the only thing left to do is um, connect power. That will go in and one side out the other. And then we can call this conveyor top, I guess. Uh, we'll call it belt pole top 2x um, hmm Icon. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, let's go with that. We'll go with red, because why not? And set directory. Um, add a category. I guess we could call this logistics. Hmm. Don't give you many options. Apply. Add a subcategory and we'll call this 
Um, nope. Um, belt poles? I feel like we can change this later. Save the blueprint. Now we can just go and place this wherever we want. Uh, blueprints, logistics. Yeah. And I know that the arrow is f pointing. Well, we could just make sure that the arrow is pointing in the right way. Uh, so, what we can do now with that is here, where I've got these two guys holding stuff up. I can just put this guy in. So I can do a blueprint. I can say that guy. Line him up. And even though it's not connected connected, it'll still work. And then we can do the same thing we did over there. I can just remove this, and then this is just as simple as grabbing one of those and just going down to the ground. Done. Right? And so now, we don't have to do that over and over and over again. I was out for that one. That seems about right. Works like a charm. Is that mostly symmetrical? I was obviously back farther. Oh geez, it connects from down here? That's awesome. That'll work really well. Okay, that's pretty close. looks symmetrical to me do we think that that needs to be back up like one more a little bit better. You won't be able to see that part once the other belts are on. actually on the pillars. Oh, 
hopefully the iron doesn't clip. Now this does not need to be splitter. And I can probably just go straight to that. out like that. I think that's pretty cool. These don't seem to be super bright. Maybe I should change that in the blueprint. To check to see what they look like at night. And so this will eventually connect. Um, but what we can do with this one now is we can reconnect uh, this guy. flow up that way I think overflow right wow that's weird that just is it the auto save they are not moving at the right speed for that belt That should be overflowing. It's weird. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's really strange. Uh, cool. So that's what this will look like. They do not clip coming out of there, so that's good. And then this will just continue on down this way. We'll make another pole here, and it'll turn sideways. That should be pretty easy to do. Yeah, and then we can run the power that way too. Sweet. Although, I guess we'd have to find a way to get the power into the building here. Inconspicuously, I don't really want to run it straight in there. So we'll have to maybe do a ground wire or something. Or I can just come in from the other side. Throw in a beam here. I feel like that's the right height. Yes. Cool. I wonder if we have enough tickets for a big sign. No. The answer to that is no. We do have six tickets, though. There's... Yeah, I need ten for those. Maybe I'll save up for those. Maybe I will save up for those. We move that, we move that.
Overlapping object? What? The hitboxes, I think, need some updating. It's it's not really... Overlap... Like, what is overlapping? There's nothing here. Starting to feel the height, the height problem. Building big and building high, and now I'm regretting not having more ways to get around. Now that I've done that a few times, it's a lot faster. So for anybody that was wondering, you go from the outside edge to the outside edge. You add the pillar to the end. And then you add... Another one from the outside edge of this, the outside edge of this, pillar to the end of that. Remove your first pillar. Add, I guess I could do up here too. Add another pillar. This probably works better with these because they're square. point for there. And you can bring this one up. And depending on the length of your angle, you may or may not have a lot or a little of overlap. Uh, thanks, Sweet Sandy. I appreciate it. At least now these all look the same. Uh, or so I thought they did. What happened there? Oh, is this the one that I didn't do? How did I mess that up? I don't know what I did there. I guess we'll do that again. And freeform seems to be the easiest way to do it. I thought angle was going to be it, but freeform seems to give you the most uh, connection points. It is giving me a different number every time I do it, which is not the best feeling.
Whoa, there's a not a ceiling there. Now they are all the same. I'd rather them have be, be not the best, but at least the same across the board. Now, as far as this stuff goes, temporarily, I guess I will put this back. We still don't know how we're going to fill in this gap and I think maybe one thing we could do is try to put an, an angled roof from the top here if I can get it to connect. And I'll just have a double line. I think that works out quite well. Solved. That's a little bit. Oh no, that's fine. That'll get covered up or won't exist. Actually, these. Yeah, those won't actually be there. Gotta get someplace a little bit higher. Oh, you can't stand on that. <laughs> And you can't stand on that either. Am I dead? No. Okay, good. Just ragdolls you. Yeah, so then this can go. This is the old border. And then I just have to mimic uh, and mirror the other side. And I can do that next time. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll give a nice backdrop once it's all done. Cool. Now, um, I also... Um, I'm on the fence, actually. Now that I can see inside, I thought I was going to put red glowing signs in through here but i might uh i might leave it the way that it is maybe i'll put some red lights inside we'll put some red lights in through here maybe i like the visible struts under there too we might have to do a different kind of roof. That's a little strange. If I put a red piece there, I wonder if it'll show up.
gonna show up up here. Pops in head to say hi before the end. Thanks very much. Good to see you, Cosmic. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Well, I say we got a decent amount done. I was really hoping to get to the other factory, but the building sometimes takes a long time. I think that also, now that I see these, I feel like these need to be shorter. I feel like we can do something different there. I think maybe this can extend or something. And we can cap those. And I think once we have all these details added down here, it'll be cool. I still don't know about those. We might get rid of those. It might be cool with just, just the basics in there. Oh, I don't remember... I think I have to get rid of that. Yeah, I like that better. That might be something inside. Oh, I remember. Yeah, okay. Um, I can just do a half foundation here. That's cool. Busy day. Left the house at 10.30 a.m. and just got back at 9.05. My goodness, cousin. That is a long day. Even if it's errands and family stuff, that's still a chunk of time. Let's get up here. Yeah. I like it. I think it looks very transformery. Right? Sure. We'll call it a yes. Uh, folks, that's where I need to wrap things up. It is the end of my day. Uh, it is dinner time, and I'm starving. So uh, I am going to send you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Let's just see. I imagine Total Eclipse is probably still live. Uh, they were having a fantastic stream earlier. If not, I'm sure there's lots of other folks I can send you along to. Uh, Total is still live. And so that's where I'm going to send you, because I really enjoy his content. Uh, you will have a good time there. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Joel Duggan. You can uh, support on patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you'd like. It's $2 a month. Uh, it gets you access to the Discord. It's less than a cup of coffee, uh, and it really does mean a lot. Uh, a huge thank you to everyone that supported over the weekend and the week. Uh, thanks to Sandy for the excellent modding and the squashing of the, the bots. And um, remember that there are still a few days left for uh, Twitch subs, which are 25% off. And there are bonus subs for gift subs happening in the next couple days. This all ends on midnight on October 1st. So like the end of the day on the 30th, that's the end. I don't think I'm going to be able to stream tomorrow. Um, I'm 99% sure it's not happening because tomorrow is the spawn chunks and I have other plans. So uh, I really appreciate all the people that came out and uh, joined the community. There's been just, even if it's just new viewers, like people that are sticking around for Satisfactory, uh, new people to the game, new people to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you all soon. I have been streaming Wednesday through Saturday as my normal schedule. I, I think I might need to get back to that normal schedule. I don't think I can do Tuesday this week. Uh, but again, Twitter and Instagram as well as the Discord are the places to see when I do extra streams. But I'll be updating the schedule and we'll be getting Satisfactory and Minecraft in probably on alternate days. Uh, but uh, tomorrow is going to be the Spawn Chunks podcast talking about Minecraft Live 2024. And uh, the rest of the week will be up in the air as to what I do for streaming. So stay tuned. Uh, probably satisfactory and probably Minecraft, but I will keep you all posted. Thanks ever so much. I will see you next time. Bye for now.